Levi Whitney here with Uphill Cinema. Today we're going to do another lighting breakdown of this commercial that I shot quite a while ago, but this is one scene from the commercial, and um, yeah, we'll dive right into it. So pretty, pretty simple, but at the same time, it was still a challenge. So yeah, so as you can see, um, it is very, very short, and let me break this down. I actually pulled down um, some stills here. Let me see if I can find the stills. Okay, so pretty simple um, diagram here. So I'm going to just draw, draw the rest out. Um, it's a little easier. Um, in the future, I'm trying to. I'm gonna try to make some better diagrams and uh, things for you guys to use as well. Um, but it'll help me um, break things down. But I'm just trying to work with some designers um, to get some objects and things made. But anyways, so as you can see, this is the piano here. Um, we actually moved it. It was over in uh, some hallway over here, so we moved it. Um, over to this area and we framed it all up and so the things that were hard was in front of the piano um, was and let me actually pull up here it was so yeah in front of this piano and over here you can actually see it barely I wish uh, I wish we would have done better with this but over here you can actually um, see the um, <laughs> you can see the flags that we use to block out the door we flagged a ton of stuff so there's a big uh, floppy right here um, everything Matthews we use Matthews for everything so there's a big 4 by 4 floppy and you can, like I said, you can see that um, right here. This is the actual stand to the floppy. We didn't notice it uh, until, well, actually, we never even noticed it. But so that's sitting right there, and that's blocking out this big glass door that's shooting light through in here. Now, you can't see it because this piano is blocking it, but right here, it goes all the way over that right there huge window so we shut the curtains we went outside because there was a, a couch chair and they didn't want us to move anything but just this piano and we flagged off those two we used two um, floppies and flagged off um, the the big window so that's what we did there and then over here this is a big window and let me come back over to the drawing here so on this side here there is this kind of kicks out like this and there's a you know window 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 so hopefully that makes sense and so the sun was way over here but we didn't want that we wanted the sun to be blazing through on him so we fogged up the entire area so there's tons of fog um, we used uh, uh, I think we used actually I forgot what it's called but it's actually in a can you just they're in these pre I'll have a link below for it but they're in these they were pretty cheap like seven bucks a bottle we got several bottles of it and you just shake it up and um, spray the fog and it's you know okay for your sensors and it won't damage anything and it did a great job and so the window here was like this this is how the window sat and so what we did is we fogged up this entire area and I'll have a link below I forgot what the exact fog was but it's pretty cool there were these little cans and um, that's what gave you this look um, was these 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 cans of fog and they're like seven bucks a bottle or something we bought several bottles and so um, but over here is uh, the window like I said and so right over here and it starts right there 
and uh, that's where this window is and so about 30 feet outside we had an airy m8 fresnel with believe it or not we actually had a cts um, so this is the m8 and we had we gelled it um, with a cts um, so color temperature straw and it was a half so one half and that was in front of it shooting through and the reason we did that is we wanted to have a really warm tone everything was just warm 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 and that was the color palette we had already had a kind of a predetermined color palette that we wanted to stay in and all of this was very much um pre-planned every part of this was already pre-planned on the colors and so um that's all we did so right here um like i said we you know had a big airy m8 and that was just shining straight through we weren't um diffusing it at all we weren't doing anything it was just shining straight through over here we had two um, floppies four by four floppies um, right here as well four by four flop okay and then over here as well so another four by four four by four flop um so yeah i mean and it was that simple now the only thing that we changed so this is what you're getting here this is what you're getting here and then here the only thing that we changed um was we needed more light to come in and kind of fill in these shadows and it, it just it was too too dark so all we did is right here we had a um a four by four bounce and it was just a foam it was just a foam board and it was pretty simple i mean we um just handheld it we had one of our um gaffers he was hand uh, holding it because there's another shot um where we're dollying and so the move too if you want to know the moves like the actual cinematography to this is we were on a big track here um and we pushed in on the track and like i said this this none of this was was in that first shot none of this was in that and so we pushed in the next shot the camera was over here we were on a 50 the entire time and then the next and then well actually the next shot wasn't there the next shot was down looking at the keys that was a 50 over the shoulder um and then the next shot was looking up at his face with the bounce here and then in another shot we actually up, ended up getting the dolly um we moved it over here and we did a long parallax move and it actually ended up being really cool but uh, we never ended up using it and during that the camera was um was going left to right we were kind of ending the scene and we did use the foam board again and we just had him kind of do this arcing motion around us so you couldn't see him um but the reason we did that is because we started with seeing the actor half on his face so but that's what you're getting here so uh the actual um uh, the foam board is like i said it's it's right here and that's what's bouncing back up into his face this light right here coming down is the let me change this is the m by airy and we had like i said cts on there one half and that goes for that but you can see how underexposed um 
not underexposed it's properly exposed but you can see it's it's you know it's a lot more uh, dramatic in these shadow areas here um, and that's you know that's because we didn't have that foam board bouncing anything in and then here uh, like I said I can kind of go back into the whole breakdown but like I said you got four by four four by four you got another one here and another one here and then over here is the M8 so really it wasn't that crazy it was pretty simple and uh, yeah hopefully that's a good little lighting breakdown but you can tell um, it's it's so important to do these things especially in these commercial shoots um, whether it's a passion project or a paid shoot you know um, having somewhat of an idea of what you're gonna do beforehand is so much better than just um, just free thinking and just winging it so uh, yeah but hopefully this is a good example of what you can do um, you know with um, you know proper time and 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 hopefully this is a good example so uh, I appreciate everything I hope uh, I hope this is uh, informative and uh, stay tuned for next week for more uh, gear reviews, tips and tricks, and film theory. Thanks, guys. Bye.